Hey guys, Bushcraft family, back again for another video. Uh, today on Morning Talk, I still got to come up with a name. I, I've, I've been racking my brains, and I, I've got some good, good uh, comments and stuff of what to name it and stuff. But I just haven't found that thing that says, "Oh, that's the name." But we'll get to it. Um, anyway, today what we're gonna be going over is, um. I think I'm going to kind of do a series of videos um, just titled Prep Now and then try to encourage people on what to prep and some of the stuff that should might be running out soon and stuff like that. I'm talking to somebody right now that deals in marketing and stuff. And they have a report, just like the the, the produce one, that, uh, the farmer's market thing that I do on Mondays. They kind of have one for um, other things like toilet paper, um, computer chips, and stuff like that. Stuff that you use in a daily thing, I guess. So I'm trying to trying to talk to them and seeing if I can get a hold of this market report and see see what it's about and stuff like that. So I think that might be something a little a little get a little head start on stuff that might be you know running a little sl short or the price will go way up and it's our job as preppers to prepare for that stuff. So it not only helps me, but if I can help somebody else in this, then that's all that's all better. But today, what we're going to be working on um, on this video is um, I've been trying to come up with some side preps, and these side preps I'm going to call for they're just basically for bartering. So if I need something or if I need some some labor for something or I need some firewood or whatever the case may be, I have something that I can trade somebody. Um, now, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be getting a lot of this. People are going to say silver and gold, silver and gold. Well, I think silver and gold would be good if... Um, after the a bad thing had happened and um, stuff like that would happen and society started to build itself back up and that stuff became valuable again, that would be good then. But say say I needed some coffee and I had and I told this guy here I've got two ounces of silver can I have a pound of coffee he's going to say no um, what's he going to use the silver for he's going to make jewelry or he's going to store it back for a rainy day or something no he's going to want something that's suitable for him um, some food or something in that nature so I came up with um some a list of barter materials and items that I think would be good for said situation and um, we'll just go over it right now um, number one and now these are not in no order or anything it's not from good to bad or anything like that it's just just ten items and here they are number one sugar um, Sugar, it could be honey too. Um, it's it's a sweetener and stuff like that. Um, if I could produce a lot of honey, um, like if I had bees and stuff like that, honey would be on the top list instead of sugar. But since I'm I'm not a bee master or anything like that, um, sugar. <laughs> um, Believe it or not, sugar will come in handy um, for baking, making drinks taste better, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, 
you can use sh sugar for um, um, to stop bleeding for wounds and stuff like that. There's there's numerous things that you can do with sugar. Um, the next one, number two, salt. Um, believe it or not, salt will be very valuable um, when somebody doesn't have it for a while. It it could be used for drying um, meat out and stuff like that, preserving stuff, and just making things taste better um so that would be a good thing to do is ha have a stockpile of salt for that you could barter barter with that um number three cigarettes uh or tobacco it, people will still smoke um if the government is down societies crashes people are going to still smoke and if you have uh, said cigarettes, carton of cigarette or whatever, I know they're outrageous right now, but um, I know a few preppers that actually grow their own tobacco, dry it out and everything, and they stockpile this because it does it does last. They put it in in marlar bags and seal it and oxygen absorbers in it and everything to, to store it um, so that would be a good thing to barter um, number four fuel now this fuel could be anything from gasoline to diesel to little propane um, bottles or anything like that um, that would be very 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 valuable you could trade almost anything for for um, for that um, number five, food. Now, I'm not saying to use your preps for this. You would set off a case or two of shift priorities, whatever. Um, and you could trade a couple cans for whatever, coffee or, or wood or whatever, um, Somebody hasn't ate for a while. A, a can of uh, um, spaghettios will will light their day up. So it's it's something to think about. Anything like that that's real cheap that you could just get, buy a couple cases. You can go to Dollar Tree online um, to their website and you can order a case of of um, spaghetti and meatballs or whatever from there and all you have to do is go down to um, the Dollar Tree you tell them that you ordered it and you don't pay no shipping that you pick up the the case you pay for it and boom you're done it's simple and, th and that could be your side prep for bartering um, the next thing like I said is coffee um, some people can't wake up without coffee in the morning. So, um, yeah, coffee can be one of those things that um, you can you can barter with very easily. Um, the next one is number seven, um, water. Um, water filters. Some way to filter water. Um, if you, you trade it for a, a filter, a homemade filter, to um, filter water that could be very valuable um, bottles of water for that matter stuff like that it's something to think about and number eight yes um, probably a, a real important item is booze it could be from wine to whiskey to moonshine any number of things um, pertaining to alcohol booze um people get drunk or <laughs> let me put, rephrase it people will still drink and yes they'll probably get drunk too um and you could like i also i've made my own wine um by just some yeast and sugar and a, a bottle of uh grape juice simple um just store that up and put it in a little jars and trade it off easy barter uh, number nine 
Um, now this it, meds, it, it could be from anywhere from aspirin to Tylenol, Tylenol to antibiotics, um, some cortisone cream. There's there's numerous things. Now, like it, like I said, with the food, this is not your stockpile. This is something that you're going to set aside just for bartering. Um, that way, you're not getting into your own stash. It's something separate to get more stuff to, for your stash or labor or something like that. Um, number 10, uh, batteries, candles, um, flashlights, uh, something like that to something to give light to somebody um, that could be very very valuable to that person um, being if things went bad and there's no electricity or anything like that um, there's going to be a lot of darkness <laughs> and somebody that has a flashlight um, it will come in handy um, so that's one good thing to think about now like I said these are just 10, 10 things I know there's tons more and I want to hear it from you guys because I might learn something from you guys. More than likely, I will because um, that's how we learn. That's how we learn from each other from videos and things like that from, from each other. So I think it's good for everybody to participate in these things and give their ideas because one time you could be posting something on my video that might very well help somebody else and that's that's what we want and um, like I said go ahead and comment um, I know there's tons more of things that we could sit there and barter with and I, I want to hear it but like I said guys that is the end of this video um, I just wanted to bust that out there um, kind of give you guys an idea of what other things to prep for um, barter items and I think that is a major thing because you could be in in some, some kind of uh, you could be in a, in a city or something a small city and that Times Square Times Square a, squ a city square square um, like where the courthouse was or stuff where they used to have farmer markets and stuff like that it could very well be like that again and you could set up shop and barter for stuff um coffee for a chicken you know eggs fresh eggs or stuff like that you you never know and it's good to have that stuff that's that's what we do we prep for things like that and i think that would be a very great idea to have stuff on the side just for bartering but I'm going to go ahead and get off here before I talk your ears off because I, I, when I get going, it, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I won't shut up. Until next time, guys, um, please like, share, comment. If you're, going to, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you do subscribe, please drop a comment, say hi, you're new or whatever. That way I can reply back to you. And that way it locks it in place that YouTube can't take it away. Until next time, God bless.